Tonight, St. Lucia's foreign minister is heading for talks with the British foreign secretary. The controversial air passenger duty will be on the agenda. The DPP expresses concern about the high number of criminal cases, including sexual abuse against minors, which are being discontinued. Controversy as the St. Lucia Red Cross repossesses water tanks that were donated, apparently in error, to residents of Bel Air. And a British visitor is building his castle on the sand. Good evening. It is Tuesday, January 17th, 2012, and this is the DBS News World. I am Onel Sanford Bell. Thank you so much for joining us. We begin tonight with news that Britain's controversial air passenger duty is expected to be a hot topic for discussion when St. Lucia's foreign minister leads a delegation to the 7th UK Caribbean Forum. The local delegation will join others from the Caribbean for talks with British Foreign Secretary William Hague and his team. The UK is St. Lucia's second biggest tourist market and there are fears that the contentious passenger duty will result in a decline in visitor arrivals. St. Lucia's foreign minister has also been outlining other areas of concern ahead of the meeting with the British Foreign Secretary. DBS's Jason Hollandseed begins our news coverage tonight with more. Observers say the controversial air passenger duty leaves the Caribbean's relations with the United Kingdom in a difficult position. The UK has increased the rates to all Caribbean countries, which regional governments say will severely affect their tourism industries. The tax on economy long-haul flights of more than 6,000 miles will raise from U.S. $132 to U.S. $143 per person. St. Lucia's Minister of External Affairs, International Trade and Civil Aviation, Alva Baptiste, says the APD remains a major concern to the traveling populace and it has impacted negatively and remains a travel deterrent. Mr. Baptiste says the APD is a special source of worry to nationals living in the UK. Recently on my way back home from Geneva, I stopped in London. I had a meeting with our nationals over there, and the APD was the main issue for them at this point in time. It is a source of irritation, a major source of concern. And so I anticipate at that 7th UK Caribbean Forum that the APD will take up a considerable amount of time as we ventilate this issue that is of tremendous significance to us. Mr. Baptiste says although this meeting will be his very first, he is cautiously optimistic about the outcome of the 7th UK Caribbean Forum. The External Affairs Minister believes it will be a challenge. Bearing in mind that the APD has been on the agenda for a very long time now, and there has been no significant movement as far as the UK is concerned, and therefore cannot expect to go in and complain to, to the UK and everything will be okay in the morning. For the DBS News World, Jason Hollandseed reporting. The Director of Public Prosecutions is concerned about the high number of criminal cases in which persons no longer wish to proceed. Mrs. Victoria Charles Clark appears particularly concerned about cases of sexual abuse involving minors. Pete Ninval reports. <laughs> 